just looking at this thumbnail, bro. What is what is this? All right, we're gonna make an intro. Everybody say what's up to YouTube if you're still here. One, two, three, action. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, we have been waiting for some time. We've been waiting for Kid Leroy. I've been waiting for a drop of his. Uh, I, last thing that he put out was that part three of that that album. Um, that was like that was over a year ago at this point. I feel like I haven't heard any Kid Leroy since then, which hopefully means that he's been working in the lab, cooking up some new shit. And this is the first single of hopefully a new album. Don't know what to expect. I mean, I kind of know what to expect from Kid Leroy's sound. So the song is called Thousand Miles. If you haven't been here before, obviously y'all see the chat happening. This is New Music Friday over on stream where we review all new music that comes out that Friday. And this was one of them. This is the last song, one of the last songs on the stream that we're doing. If y'all guys want to be a part of the reactions, we're doing this for YouTube. We're still talking to YouTube and making videos for y'all. Um, it's just everybody gets to chat and talk about it and talk about the review together. It's just a more interactive experience. So if y'all guys are willing to join that, consider joining us live. Second link in the description. I promise everybody that goes to the live says that they enjoy it more than the YouTube because it's much more intimate and it's much more you know happening right then and there other than that join patreon if y'all guys want to see reactions that don't make the channel there's probably 20 on patreon this month alone that will never make the channel so you get a lot of extra content on patreon but we got kid leroy thousand miles let's get it directed by christian something kid leroy versus the kid leroy double espresso for larry <laughs> Oh, um, I think you meant Leroy. Okay, Leroy. Well, your total is eight seventy-nine. Jesus, does it come with your number as well? Maybe. Is it? Was it like a comedy, like a sketch show that was happening right there? What kind of answer is maybe? Just yes or no? Maybe. Also. If he's about to be drug, I saw the thumbnail moving and it looked like he was being drugged by the car, which is what I'm assuming is happening. Justin Timberlake already did that. I know that look on your face, you're coming my way, you're coming my way tonight. Here goes another mistake, I know I'm gonna make, I know I'm gonna make tonight. Oh, oh, you should let it go, you're better off alone, cause I'm about to fuck it up with you, I know. Hey, yo, is it me or is hands fucking massive? Why are his hands so big? The song sounds like a bop, though, so far. I'm not even going to lie. The song sounds good, but the music video is definitely the most entertaining part so far. <laughs> what the fuck is this, yo? <laughs> what the fuck is this holy shit <laughs> this music video is so out of left field for the kid leroy i ain't even mad at it it's not terrible it doesn't fit the vibe of the song but i do enjoy the vibe of the song like don't come my way i'm gonna fuck it up well i'm gonna fuck it up for us same come on my way come on my way Also, what does this hair do, bruh? Why does he look like that chick that was in like that red, that red swimsuit from the 80s? What's her name that everybody had on their wall? It's like Biebs cut his hair and Killer Roy's like, bet, now I can take that style now. Phoebe Gates, somebody else cooking. It's gonna fall on him, right? If I was you, I'd stay a thousand miles away. All right, I like this song. The sentiment of the song, if I was you, don't come anywhere near here. It's like the weekend said on his most recent album. What did he say? Don't give me your heart because I'll get careless and I'll and I'll t and I'll break it apart or something like that. Same concept. The video though was straight random. It's hard to give it all up. Trying to block you out, but you're invading my thoughts. And you got ten fingers right around my heart. Why is he looking more and more like like Biebs? 
He looks like Beebs a little. Does anybody see Beebs? How many times can I say Beebs in 10 seconds? This shot right here looks like the split screen of that one track with Demi Lovato and G Easy. This video is so cringe, but it's like so it's so cringe that it's good. You ever have like good cringe? I could give you everything that you want, but I won't no. Oh, you should let it go. The song is hard though. God damn. Not fucking, not Austin Powers. Not the Austin Powers bit where he gets run over in slow motion by the steamroller. The fuck is this video, bro? That was terrible CGI, bro. Holy shit. Not one second did that train look real. Not for a single second did that train look real. She a real one staying for staying with him through all of that. Or not. Or fucking not. <laughs> hey, yo. What was that music video, bro? What the hell did I just watch right now? The song is a classic Hitler Roy song, okay? It's exactly what I expected it to be, and it's nothing more than what I expected it to be. It's very pop heavy, which is what Hitler Roy does, you know? He's not a he's not a rapper. He's like super hot fire. He's not a rapper. I put the clothes in the suitcase and I zip it. I bounce the ball. I shoot and I miss it. Psych! I switched it! He's not a rapper. It's a classic pop song. It's classic Kid Leroy. I don't know what we're going to get from an album of his that didn't sound like any of his albums prior. Kid Leroy right now is kind of on the same. It's, he's kind of on the same trajectory for me as NF is, which means that his fans are probably going to fuck with it heavy, probably going to fuck with his album heavy, but it's too many albums of the same style in a row. Needs to switch it up. I need some kind of creativity. I need some evolution into into him as an artist. He's still very young, so he can still has, he still has a lot of time to change, evolve as an artist as we get older and him as an artist gets older. It's the same boat that NF is in. If I get another album from NF that sounds like The Search and sounds like Perception, it's going to be a worn down sound at that point. So it's a good track. It's good for what it is. Um, Thousand Miles, I'd probably give it a seven. Um, like I said, it's not going to be an eight or a nine because it's not innovative enough for that, but it's not a bad track whatsoever. It's not like a three or a four. Um, it's right exactly where I expect Kid Leroy to be. Music video, though, random as fuck.